Hi guys, um, my last video on terrain generation got a bit of interest so I thought I may as well post another video about some procedural generation stuff that I've been working on recently and maybe explain a little bit of the underlying concepts of it. Um, I'm using a tool called Noise Studio which I wrote for Unity 3D um, but you could do this kind of stuff with script um, by yourself but yeah, this is just a good way of um, explaining exactly what's going on um, in a visual way. Um, what I'm trying to accomplish here is um, a 2D style side on terrain, um, slightly inspired by the Worms series of games. Um, as you can see, here's an example of the final product. Um, and yeah, I'll show you how I went about generating this. Um, this is the graph that's used, just a brief overview. Um, but yeah, I'll go through and describe a bit more about exactly how it's how it works. Um, what I do is I get a noise. My this is my base noise. Um, and what I want to do is get a single slice out of it, um, just a slice along the y-axis um, that I can stretch out across the whole canvas so that it looks like streaks, kind of like, well, exactly like this. Um, here's a render. Um, and when I have that, I want to turn that into something like a height map. Um, and the way that I do that is I get the Y percentage, which is the distance between the bottom of the top where 1 is at the top and 0 is at the bottom. Um, I'll just quickly show you that. So yeah, you can see white is at the top and white is 1 and black is 0. Um, and I get the two of those and there's two things I do with that. One of them is I use a step node um, which gives me my rough terrain cut out which looks like this um, this is only a low res version of it so it's faster to render um, but yeah that's the the rough cut out that I'll that will be used for the terrain um, and then I also as well as sub stepping it I can subtract it and that gives, gives me a gradient that I can use for colouring or that I will be used for colouring um, and so yeah that leads me on to colouring itself so firstly I try and make a texture for the earth and I do that by um, by using Voronoi noise Uh, and this is just basically two shades of grey that are lerped together. Um, I kind of like Voronoi noise because it looks a little bit cartoony um, and it'll work well with this style of background. Um, so yeah, I use that texture and also just a flat shade of green to resemble grass. Um, and I lerp that together again to give me what I'll be using for the texture which looks like this that's it before it's cut out um, and then I in this node that's labeled if any is greater than zero it just basically uses the the output of the step node as a mask um, so that you have a nice cut out terrain like this that has an alpha channel if you want to use the alpha channel um, and then because that is a little bit kind of too flat and it's a little bit too up and down we want to have slight overhangs we can we could do caves a different way but for now we're just going to do some overhangs um, and the, w the way we do that is 
by using a another noise this is just a simplex noise um, and we'll use that to push um, push left and right the um, the preview that we had before um, all of the nodes that are white will go to the right and all the like all the pixels that are black will go to the left um, and for that I use a shift map modifier but if you're scripting this you should be able to figure out roughly what I'm doing um, and so that just basically gives gives the output a little bit of turbulence so you end up with something like this where you have a few overhangs um, and still the jagged mountain in interface and yeah I guess that's it for now um, thanks for watching feel free to comment and subscribe if you like it and yeah thanks